at a certain age, like, they don't watch you, you're troubled and stuff. But, like, inside I knew, like, I'm not a troubled kid. I know what I'm meant for, like, why I'm here. I knew I had that chance, but I wasn't sure if it would happen because no one wants to take that chance. We met Hannah and Maya in July in 2016. Their personalities were a lot like ours. They were just a lot of fun, um, goofy. We just had a great time together and they just felt like they needed to be with us and we needed to be with them. They were in and out of foster homes multiple times when they were young. They were living in a home that had holes in the floor. There were rats. Um, they were always hungry. They were back and forth, and they were in four or five different homes at that point. I remember one of the first nights, like, staying in a foster home. I wrote a poem about it. It was... It was like really quiet and I had such a hard time. It was so empty, there was nothing on the walls. I felt like the bed was so big and I was just sinking into it. All I could hear was the clock and it was just, it's lonely. My sister was always there for me so I would have been really scared if we were split up. When my parents were drunk, she would be my mother mostly. They're very resilient, they're very strong. Um, knowing what they've been through and, and how they are is just amazing in itself. Hannah, she had never had uh, a play date with a friend, ever. Uh, she'd never had sleepovers, ever. For someone her age to wait that long to have to go. Laura will forever be a part of our family. She's so sweet. But it's just so nice and happy. I just always felt so comfortable with Laura. Wendy's wonderful kids uh, considered everything, our needs, the girls' needs, and put us all together. What does adoption mean to me? They don't have to wonder if they're going to have a place to sleep, something to eat, if they're going to go to school hungry or dirty. I don't know how to put it into just a few words. It's more than we ever thought it would be. It's amazing. When I started calling them mom and dad, I knew that it would stay that way forever. It means that you don't have to be born from the same parents. You don't have to have the same blood to be family. That's adoption. Foster care is like a war, and the foster homes are little battles. And then adoption's like the white flag that goes up at the end of the war, and it's, like, it's time to settle down, rebuild everything that got destroyed. And I still have some struggles. You have to keep fighting, and I just feel here for a reason.